In this video, we are going to talk about how you can present in Google Meet without losing access to your students. So I have two tabs open, one and two. The second tab is what I want to present to my students. So I'm going to go to the URL up at the top and I am going to hit slash present. Now, the reason I want to do this is because normally when I hit present, it takes over my entire screen and I don't necessarily want that to happen. So now I have a present tab and I'm in my Google Meet. Even before you uh, open up your Meet to your students, you're going to minimize your screen and you're going to pull the presented tab to the very right, or you could do the opposite if you want, and the Google Meet tab on the left or vice versa, whatever, whatever you like. Um, you'll notice here that you can also put something else like a, you know, a resource on that tab. If I want to show them a resource, I might think about all the things that the kids might ask me that I could put on those tabs. So now I will welcome my students. It's now one o'clock, for example, and I say, hey, everybody, welcome to the chat, uh, you know, put in a word. So I have access to the chat. I have access to all my students joining. And then I say, OK, and I'm just going to share my screen with you so that we can talk a little bit about what our week's learning is going to look like. So I'm going to hit present now. And this is where normally it, you could, if you do your entire screen, you lose access to the students. So you're going to select a window. And what you'll notice is that tab that I've pulled out is now a window, is an option for me. So I'm going to isolate that window and that is what I'm going to share. So in my Google Meet, it shows you are presenting your screen and the students will see what it is that I am doing on the Google Slideshow. Now is a good time to turn on Google Captions so the kids could see and hear what it is that I'm talking about. This is especially good for students with a hearing impairment or students who have tracking issues. What you also need to know is that when I play a video in this window, it's going to have better audio than if you are presenting your entire screen. Um, so that's important to know as well. But you'll also know, notice that you can still have access to the chat while the kids are watching or looking at your presentation. And I could still, you know, mute or um, hide the camera of kids and just keep an eye on what they're doing there. So that is a very simple way of how to keep your um, presentation happening while still accessing the Google Meet.